Today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the slant post concept of the trip side information. We'll be showing you this play out of the play PA boot shot in the Bills offensive playbook. If you want to get my entire trip side in offensive ebook, just join the Patreon. The link's going to be down in the description down below. It's only $10 to become a member, and it will instantly make you a better Madden player because you're going to get instant access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks and all the updates to those ebooks as well. Now, how we're going to set this play up is we are just going to zig or whip route the middle trips receiver. We're going to slant the um, inside trips receiver, and then we're going to post the tight end. We're going to take advantage of this play action route. What you're going to see of this slant, as long as he runs across the field, is he's going to beat man coverage. Now, if you want to prevent the, the um, stopping of the route, just put him on a drag route. Now, Sometimes a drag route against press man-to-man -man can get bumped into the dirt. So just kind of keep that in mind. It, it depends on what you want to do. But the best thing that I can tell you in terms of running this play is I do like the slant against man coverage. It's just understand that sometimes he can do stuff like that where he literally stops and covers himself, <laughs> which is really, really frustrating. So uh, if you don't want to if you don't want to have to deal with fluke or anything like that, just put him on the drag. Again, the main read on this is the tight end. It's the best route in the game for consistently beating man-to-man -man coverage the tight end part is post because it doesn't get pressed now against off coverage uh this is going to be a little easier especially for the drag route so you see when the drag route doesn't get pressed does a really good job of just beating man coverage across the formation and the slant route should also beat man-to-man -man as well and one of the things you're going to see a lot of people start to do uh, with deep out zone ko's is they are going to play kind of a almost like a two-man under style approach to defense and the main purpose of this is to try to take away the outside breaking patterns. So what we're going to do is we're going to take advantage of the fact that we have this absolute beast of a post route. And this actually can bomb cover two man over the top for a one play touchdown, as you can see right there. Really, really, really good at getting separation consistently against those deep half defenders. Now, another thing that we're able to do, another popular defense you're going to see online is the double Mabel. When people are double Mabeling, essentially what they're going to be doing is they're going to have a high flat uh, defender and a low flat defender so we're going to kind of set this up here and what you should see is as long as you have time in the pocket this is going to be a one play score a lot of times they're going to try to use or the slant or the post but this deep deep post route is absolutely lethal this year against the cover two coverage as you can see just gets right over the top of the double mabel coverage now that's going to force them to have to have some kind of middle of the field safety whether that be cover three or cover four and so as they go to some of these other coverages, this is where this tight end route is absolutely just going to kill them. As you can see right here, when he cuts across the middle of the field, it's just going to be a very consistent yard gainer for you. Very easy uh, to hit that. And so they're going to have to go user that. So because they're going to have to go user the tight end post route, then what that's going to do is it's going to leave a void in the middle of the field where our slant route or our drag route is going to be able to work right over the middle. So you see right here, we can kind of throw that. Actually, the yellow zone did really, really, really good there. We'll show that to you one more time. Again, just kind of anticipating they're probably going to be using, um, you know, they're probably going to be using the post. I think that might have actually been a purple zone. If they're, if you're ever like needing to space the field a little bit better, just put the running back on a table route or a swing route. And as you can see, it's going to open up that middle throwing lane so that if they do go use with the tight end, you're going to have the slant route underneath. Another thing that's really helpful uh, is that if they're, let's say they're not putting hard flats on the field, if they don't have any hard flat defenders on the trip side of the field, it's actually pretty common this year, go ahead and hit that zig route for some easy yards as well. This route combo is super efficient, super effective every single year, but it's really good this year, especially because of the fact that you have this absolute beast of a post route combined with the good old tried and true slant post concept. Thanks for watching the video. To get my entire trip side in offensive ebook, head down to the description and go click the link down below. For just 10 bucks, you'll be able to get access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks. So thanks for watching the video and go check out the Patreon in the description.